the sci-fi element and then all the f- ideal that all these kids can just like build a time machine and with the, all the irresponsibilities of a high schooler. I really liked the relationships on the page. I just thought they felt so real and natural and not stereotypical. And I liked the way that they interacted with each other and the friendships mm-hmm. and the humor of it all. That was really appealing to One me. One of the things you don't even really know fully if you want, if you like how into a project you are until you go and start reading with the other actors. Mm-hmm. And I remember going and reading with you and you had that necklace and there was that whole, <laughs> yeah. we had this whole scene. It was just like, I want to do this movie. Yeah, we had, Johnny and I had a really great time working together right from the beginning. And I think that that was really appealing to both of us was to like, create this storyline together and work off of each other. Yeah. She's kind of like this this amazing, beautiful girl that doesn't that's not a cheerleader and she doesn't fall down any specific class of, of I don't know, she's, she's just a, to me, in my real life, that's the type of girl that I go for, who's just like beautiful but doesn't just like, doesn't just wear makeup and dance, you know what I mean? Like, just in complex and um, I think David like finally finds out a way of reaching out to her. Yeah, I think I think that she is, they're both kind of outcasts in their own right, and they're both seen for something they're not necessarily, and I think yeah. that Jessie might be, you know, to other people, like the beautiful girl that has it all together, but she's quite lonely and, and kind of lost as everyone is at that age, and um, her and David both stumble with each other, which I think is really sweet and real, and they don't really know how to do this thing. You yeah, know, and they it's both, like a they very both find a way dance. past each other's walls in that way, and that and it's it's like we needed each other essentially. Yeah. I don't think there's been a a, te- a like a high school movie in a while, at least for me, that's felt like you and your friends. You know, the Almanac is very much. You and your five, like your four best friends, if you actually built this thing and could do whatever you wanted, I think it's just such a naturalistic look at that, those relationships. and Right, and, and then, like I was saying, all the irresponsibility of a high schooler running around <laughs> using the machine right. for just incredibly Screwing selfish up. reasons, <laughs> yeah. and, and it just kind of, you know, turns over. Right. It's important to have everything. All of those ups and downs and the roller coaster of the movie, I think, plays really well. The, it's fun, it's dark, it's this, it's that. Because like the people in it, you can't really box it into any one specific category or one specific genre, and I think that's what will make it a, so appealing to so many different types yeah, of people. I think we, we all agree that this film needs to get like dark at moments in yeah. order for it to truly depict what, what would happen. Yeah. Hey, what's up everyone? Valerie here with an interesting movie fact from Black Swan starring Natalie Portman. During filming, the actress dislocated her rib, but soon discovered that the film's budget was so low they couldn't afford a medic. The actress gave up her trailer so one could be hired. Come on now, Natalie. And you couldn't even afford to pay for one yourself. Mm. That's Hollywood. For more movie news and facts, keep it tuned to our channel.